after Pearl Harbor, American President Franklin D. Roosevelt wanted to strike back hard at the Japanese. The plan was to bomb Japanese cities, especially Tokyo, but the U.S. had no airfields close to Japan. Traditional naval planes would have to be launched from aircraft carriers dangerously near Japan. The ingenious solution was to launch longer-range Army Air Force B-25 bombers from those same carriers, even though it had never been tried before. Lieutenant Colonel James H. Doolittle would plan and lead the attack. Doolittle's strategy was to bomb five Japanese cities and then land in friendly territory in China. On the day of the attack, the carrier Hornet carrying Doolittle's planes was drawing closer to Japan. But Japanese patrol boats spotted the Hornet 700 miles from Japan. Doolittle decided to launch immediately, even though they were 150 miles further away than planned. Doolittle's plane was first in line for takeoff. When they reached Tokyo and the other cities, the B-25s flew low over their targets and dropped their bombs. Low on fuel and headed for China, some pilots had to parachute into Japanese territory. Some were captured and held prisoner. Two pilots were executed. Other B-25 pilots crash landed or parachuted into Japanese held areas of China. Chinese soldiers helped rescue some of them. Doolittle's raid didn't cause much physical damage to Japan, but the psychological damage was great. For centuries, the Japanese believed that they were invulnerable to attack. Now they knew that America planned to bring this war right to Japan's doorstep. Doolittle was awarded the Medal of Honor for his courage.